Hey, what's up YouTube? Well, I know my hair doesn't look great, but I just got it cut. And that is one of the reasons I have not made a video in a while. The other reason is that I'm trying to get ready to go to my mom's house once again. I hope that we will have another fun summer, just like last year, um, at my mom's house. And that's why, you know, I can't be sitting around making videos. And one thing I'd like to start out by saying is I have a little bit of show and tell. And what it is, it's this cute doll. Remember I made this one around Thanksgiving? Well, I made another doll outfit. And what I did was, actually this doll was in a group of naked dolls. And the only thing he had was this pair of pants. And he's probably intended to be a girl, but there are just too many girl dolls, so I just call him a boy. Um, so he had pants, but he didn't have a shirt. And so what I did was, I made a onesie, okay? And I know you can't really see that. Um, but I made a onesie so that it would be like a shirt that's tucked into his pants at all times. And so I took this pattern for a shirt and I made it smaller and I expanded it out into a onesie. And so as you can tell, he's got a shirt that's really a onesie tucked into his pants, okay? And what I'd like to talk about in this video is something that needs to be normalized um, because one of the, the other reason I haven't been making videos is because I know you can't tell, but I'm pretty badly burned, okay, to the point where, you know, I'm sunburnt really badly, to the point where my clothes are very uncomfortable. And I want to talk about how we need to normalize the wearing of a shirt in the pool for both men and women, okay? And, well, I used to always, like... I don't know. Like, generally, I don't really swim all that much because by the time the water gets warm enough to go swimming, you know, it it's so sunny and hot that, I mean, even on a cloudy day, you can get sunburned really badly. And that is not good for my skin. You know, my skin was clearly not meant to go out in the sunlight for an extended period of time. And so we really need to normalize the wearing of a shirt in the pool. You know, this idea that what's normal to swim in is basically colored underwear, although my underwear has color. Basically, I wear every color of underwear from black to white to everything in between. Um, you know, we need to normalize swimming in more than, you know, what is basically underwear made out of a stretchy material, um, you know, stripping down to that and basically exposing your body. Because one of the many reasons, you know, I mean, that that's just one small reason. But one of the many reasons that I have no intention of living as a male, you know, not that I ever really would, you know, because obviously I don't have support and I would be giving up life as a female and I would be basically supporting the idea that if you are not feminine, then you're not a woman. Okay, that's what I hate the most about the whole transgender thing. It supports the belief that in order to actually be a woman, you must be feminine. Whether you were born male or female, it's like saying that femininity is the most important thing about being a woman. It isn't, you know, the organs that you were born with, like I believe it is. Um, and I don't support that. Okay, um, but one of the many reasons why I don't want to live as a man, you know, as much as I would love to be flat-chested, like I was at the age of nine, and haven't been since, there is this expectation for men to swim completely shirtless, like this doll was when I bought him, okay, and that always has bothered me, never really, I mean, I don't like to see anyone going shirtless, I don't know why. But I especially don't like to see females for obvious reasons because we're not supposed to at any age, but especially when we have breasts. Um, so, you know, we really need to normalize 
wearing a shirt in the pool, whether you're a man or a woman. Because my skin, you know, as I've stated before, it's it just not, it just isn't made to withstand, you know, extensive sunlight. It isn't made to be out in the sun. And I don't want it to be out in the sun. You know, I want to be beautiful and fair complected and delicate. And that's another reason why I would not make a good man, okay? Men are supposed to be rough and tumble and you know, leathery skinned and not care what they look like. Well, I very much care about my fair complexion. And I was in so much pain that COVID was nothing in comparison to the sunburn I had just from about two hours out in the sun. And we're not talking about the brightest part of the day, like around noon. We're talking about 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., roughly. Okay, there was some sort of a luau, and I'm sure you can imagine why I couldn't pass that up. You know, where they had some giveaways and little, you know, trinkets that, you know, and lots of drinks. Um, so basically, you know, they, they had lots of popsicles and, you know, things to celebrate the beginning of summer. Which, my birthday is right before the summer solstice. So, wow, four more days. Um, so, yeah. Um... We really need to normalize the idea that not everybody wants to swim, you know, half naked or pretty much naked, okay? You know, and, and that is one of the things I love about Pastor Anderson and his church and his wife's blog is how she basically makes her children's bathing suits. You know, she resents the idea that girls in particular are expected to swim in basically a bra and panties made out of swimsuit material or a one-piece version thereof, you know. Like a onesie basically covers more than a girl's bathing suit. Um, and it, it offers no UV protection. Okay, so, you know, I just, you know, I think that whether you're a man or a woman, whether you're fat or skinny or whatever your build is like, I think it should be acceptable to go swimming. You know, one time I, I went to this water park around here and um, I wore a black turtleneck inside of a bathing suit that had a lot of black because I thought it would match. And I wore that to protect my skin. Well, unfortunately, my face still got burned, my nose and cheeks, but... You know, it did protect my arms, you know, unlike the other day, or let's see, what was it? Was it Friday? Yeah. Um, my arms were just all red, and that's why I wore that turtleneck, because I intended to swim at least four hours in the water park, because if you don't, then you just won't get your money's worth. Um, but I never went back, because everyone looked at me like I was from another planet. You know, just for wearing this turtleneck inside of a bathing suit and it's like what's the matter with that you know why does every other person in the water park have on you know some kind of a skimpy bathing suit if they're a female or if they're a male they don't have a shirt on just like my dad you know I was the only person wearing a turtleneck in the pool and really and truly what I'd like to have is one of those rash guard things you know like a like a scuba diver's wetsuit that's what I'd really like, but the price is a little steep. That's why I've never bought one. So if you pay like over $100 for this wetsuit, and then the next year you're too fat for it, you know, that'd be a waste of money. And plus, you're not going to have enough of them to alternate. You know, a bathing suit is just so much cheaper. You know, you could have like three or four of them, and as one of them is wet, you know, wear your dry one. You know what I'm saying. So, um, you know, why we've normalized basically nakedness when it comes to swimming, you know, it's just ridiculous. You know, we need to normalize the right to wear, you know, long sleeves or, you know, clothes that cover your body, even in the water, because I need UV protection. A lot of people, you know, there, there's people way lighter than me in this world, and they need more UV protection. Um, and it's just, 
not very healthy to go get burned every year. You know, that's why I think so many people don't go swimming because they just think, well, if you go swimming, you have to wear, you know, these revealing clothing, you know, whether it's shirtlessness for men or skimpy ass bathing suits for women and girls. Um, and I don't think that's right. And that's, that's, like I said, you know, in addition to everything else, that's one of the many reasons why I would not want to live as a male. Because there would be this expectation that when you go to the beach or you go to the pool, you've got to be naked from the waist up. And I would never be cool with that. You know, even if I got the best top surgery result in the world, which I don't have any intention to look into that, you know, I would still not want to go without a shirt because it's just, it's just not a part of my body that I've ever wanted to expose. You know, even when I really and truly thought I was a boy in a girl's body, I still did not want to take my shirt off in front of everyone. And when you get such a surgery, you have two big scars. And let me tell you something, scar tissue sunburns more easily than the rest of your skin. Because I used to cut myself when I was 15 through 24. And so I have all these self-inflicted scars from when I was younger. And they burn even worse than the rest of my skin. So I would really need long sleeves. You know, that's, that, that's one of the reasons I wore that turtleneck in the pool. And my mom told me, don't ever do that again. She's like, next time, don't go swimming. If you got to be covered up like that. And of course, I still got sunburned ears and face and all that in my neck where it wasn't covered. Um, so yeah, we need to normalize the wearing of a shirt in the pool, whether you're a man or a woman. And stop expecting people to go half naked in the pool.